it's all about visualization this one as well self-belief convincing myself that i can maintain this pace for the marathon So good morning, welcome back to the channel. The taper is well and truly here. It's currently Thursday when I'm filming this and I'm racing the Valencia Marathon this Sunday, so in three days time. Um, it will be my second ever marathon and I'm attempting to run 2.20. Um, I've been training the last 10 weeks um, with this goal in mind, so I'm hoping that everything comes together on race day. All my training has been documented here on YouTube. I've done a little YouTube series called The Road to Valencia. This is actually episode nine made in collaboration with Coros and Saw Running. So thank you to those sponsors. Um, in today's video, I'm gonna go over a little bit about the kit I'm gonna be using on race day and also share with you my final bit of speed work. I would call it a session, but it's not quite a session. Um, I've got five kilometers um, at marathon pace today in my plan. I'm gonna wear my race shoes and just make sure all the kit is ready to go for Sunday. Um, but this morning, I'm just off to uh, my local hairdressers to get my hair cut. Um, it's a bit of a pre-race tradition of mine. Um, get a nice little trim, a nice skin fade, feel nice and fresh before race day. Um, and also distract myself in the taper and prevent myself from doing too much. If you've enjoyed this series, consider sharing it with some running buddies, maybe down at your local running club. I'd really appreciate that. And as always, make sure you leave a like on these videos. It just helps out the algorithm. Um, without further ado, let's head down to my local hairdressers and get this barnet sorted out. So this is before, and this is after. There we go, nice little trim. Um, all fresh, ready for race day. Let me quickly just talk you through uh, my race kit. It's pretty simple. So shoes, I picked up a pair of Nike um, Vaporfly 2s in the Black Friday sale. These are gonna be my race day shoe of choice. I was between uh, the Vaporfly and the Alpha Fly 1 um, to run the marathon. The Alpha Fly 1 is what I used for my first marathon. I recently ran a 67 minute half marathon in these shoes, um, which equates to around 310 per kilometer. Um, so I know I can run fast in these shoes and in uh, Valencia for the marathon, I'm aiming to run 320 per kilometer. So I have the confidence that I can run that sort of pace in these shoes quite comfortably. I've been having a little bit of issues um, with the arch in the Alpha Fly, a few blisters in this training block. So I decided not to use them for this marathon. Um, and I also find they feel a little bit better at a slightly slower pace. So for me, around 3.30, 3.40 is when the Alpha Fly feels really, really cruisy. Onto the socks, I'm gonna be wearing um, some socks by a company called Shoe. Um, they've actually uh, sent me these for the purpose um, of review and to, to try out. Um, and I've been really enjoying them um, and I've asked them actually to send me a pair that literally matches the colorway of shoe designed specifically for that colorway. So hopefully that comes before race day. Um, it's Thursday when I'm filming this and the race on Sunday and I believe they're in the post. Moving on to my shorts. Um, these are probably the most technical piece of kit that I'll be wearing on race day and probably the, the piece of kit that I couldn't, couldn't go without purely because of its ability to carry gels. So in the race, I'm gonna be using Morton gels, probably gonna take around six or seven gels across the course of the race. So I need somewhere to store them. So I can store two in the front with these little loops. Really, really easy to get access to when you're running. And then in the back, it's really handy. It's got these little pockets with pull tabs so you can easily get access to them. Um, and I'm gonna be able to put at least four gels in the back there, along with storing my little camera, which I plan to take along the way with me. Moving on to my um, race vest. This is my lucky race vest from Saw. Um, I wore this in uh, Copenhagen for my first marathon um, and ran 2.28. So I'm gonna take it to Valencia. Hopefully it brings me some luck. Um, it's super, super lightweight. And if it is a warm day, then this is gonna be really handy. Um, I'm gonna take the arm sleeves with me. Um, I've got some Saw racing arm sleeves as well. But if it's a bit warm, I probably won't wear those. Um, that will be just fine. And finally, the only other piece of kit really is um, underwear. So I'm gonna be wearing these snazzy black briefs from a company called Runderwear. Um, and their slogan is don't run commando. So these supposedly help reduce chafing um, and I've used them throughout my training. Um, they're quite expensive, it isn't a brand deal. 
um, but just the choice of underwear that I'll be using from a company called Runderwear. Um, and yeah, that's it really. Not Nothing too, too mad and exciting, um, pretty basic, minimal racing kit. Um, throughout the course, I'll be taking Morton gels, and I will also be taking, one sec, um, electrolytes from a company called Bix Hydration um, in the morning and a couple of days before the race to make sure that I am uh, ready to rock. But yeah, that is pretty much it for race kit. Um, and race strategy in terms of fueling and um, let's get down to my road loop to run that last five kilometer workout this afternoon Ooh, So this is it the last workout before Valencia um, The Sun's come out. It's always a good sign um, It's absolutely freezing here though in the UK today. I think it's about four or five degrees Which is the coldest it's been for a little while but thankfully my head was nice and warm, thanks to my team Varga Cap. If you want to get one just like it, you can use Ben is Running 15 for 15% off all their website, including this hat here from their new collection. So I'm just heading down now to my local loop where I'm going to do the five kilometers at marathon pace. Um, today's session is just, has two purposes really. The first purpose is to dial into race pace and um, to get the body used to what 320s per kilometer uh, feels like. Obviously I've been doing a lot of training over the last few months at that sort of pace so I won't need to, there's not going to be anything new in terms of how it feels. Um, it's just to remind myself um, when I'm on the start line what sort of 320 feels like in terms of effort. Um, and the second reason I like to do this session um, on race week is as a bit of a confidence booster really five kilometers at race pace should feel fairly comfortable um, hopefully easy uh, or at least a steady effort today so yeah hopefully i can get this workout done two and a half kilometers warm up five kilometers at marathon pace and a two and a half k warm down build some confidence um, and be fully ready to rock on sunday it's the first time wearing these new vapor flies, um, which I'm going to be wearing on the race day just to break them in, check there's no hot spots or any issues with them at all, and then yeah, I'll be ready to go come Sunday. So here we are onto my loop where I've done so many training runs throughout this block, uh, laps and laps of this little coldy sack. People must think I'm absolutely nuts around here, just running loops around their houses. And they're all generally quite elderly people, so a few of them look out the window at me, probably gives them something, um, a little bit of a change up from the usual countdown. Some nut are running loops around the block. Um, but I'm gonna lose some layers now, getting a little bit warm, do a few dynamic stretches, and then get into this marathon pace workout. Okay, so here we go. Just about to start the 5k rep. Just got to press lap on the Coros. Ready to go. Three, two, one. Marathon pace. Nice and easy. It's all about visualization, this one as well. Self-belief, convincing myself that I can maintain this pace for the marathon. I'm just gonna dial in now, try and zone out a little bit. Come on, last session. So I went through the 2K in 6.38. It's about two seconds faster than marathon pace for the 2K split, so pretty much bang on. 319 per kilometer average so far. Feeling smooth. Three, two, one. There we go. Let's pause the watch quickly. Whew, there we go, five kilometers. 
at marathon pace. I think we hit around 16.36 for the 5k split there, so about four seconds quicker than I need to run um, in Valencia. But feeling good, breathing is pretty well, did pretty well today. Um, I've had a bit of a head cold recently and I found my breathing to be a little bit, little bit off. Um, had about a two week, two and a half week cold, potentially was COVID. Um, some things started to taste a little bit weird, weird towards the end of the uh, 10 day sort of illness. And I did a test and it was negative, but it's unlike me to have a, have a cold for that long. Um, so yeah, I can feel it a little bit still in my breathing. Hopefully you've got another three days of recovering. Um, I'm feeling better and better each day. So the legs are feeling really good today as well. They had a nice little spring in my step, nice pop. Um, didn't feel tired at all. So yeah, it's exactly what that workout's for. Five kilometers, marathon pace, big confidence boost. And yeah, hopefully doesn't build up any fatigue in the legs ahead of Sunday's race. But yeah, time to put some more layers on and uh, jog back to the house, job done. So I just finished a big bowl of pasta, making sure I replenish those glucose levels ahead of the race on Sunday. Um, I just thought I would talk you through some of the features on the Chorus Pace 2, which is the watch I'm gonna be wearing in Valencia. Um, and it has some really handy features when it comes to tapering. One of those is sleep monitoring. So simply wear this watch at night and it tracks your sleep. Last night it said I got eight hours and 34 minutes of sleep and a total of an hour and 39 minutes of deep sleep, which is really good. It's definitely something I prioritize in the taper. And the second feature I find really, really helpful especially when it comes to tapering, is this fatigue score and load impact. It basically takes all of your running data that you put into the watch, um, say over the last four weeks, and it calculates a score of your fatigue out of 100. And currently my score is 36, which is in the performance category. Um, it can work out whether you're improving your fitness, you're maintaining fitness, or it can say you're um, in the performance category, which is which I'm, which is what I'm in today, ready for peak performance according to the watch. So the Chorus Pace 2 is not only a really reliable running watch, it's also a good fitness tracker and it seems to be able to calculate um, your levels of fatigue pretty accurately. I think the, I found the more I wear the watch, the more accurate it's become. So I think it took maybe three or four weeks for it to figure these sort of things out, my rate of recovery, um, the impact of my training and the overall load. Um, but once you do that, it's very, very accurate in terms of these features and they can be really helpful when it comes to tapering and making sure you get your final preparations for the marathon right. The next few vlogs will be out in Valencia. Um, I'm really excited to race the marathon. I'm getting a little bit nervous now, but that is normal. Um, the legs felt really good today, nice and poppy. Um, so I'm full of confidence going into the race. And yeah, hopefully it goes well. Just wanna say a big thank you to everyone's support uh, across this series and all the messages um, I've had over the last few days saying good luck in Valencia. I really appreciate it and I will do my best come race day. But until next time, aspire to run, run to inspire and we'll see you again soon.